Hey guys, Char Chan here, or Triceratops, same person. Today's video, we're doing another unboxing, and today I have the Yami Yugi Figma. I found this on eBay pre owned for a really good price that I just couldn't pass up, so let's open him. So, this is an official Figma, and I originally wasn't planning on getting the Yami Yugi Figma, I just I'm not really a Figma kind of person, but I do really love Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yugi is my favourite character, so um, when I saw this for £80, I had to get it. So this is an official Figma, it's got the little sticker there to kind of hopefully prove that it is authentic, and the box looks to be high quality and nicely printed and everything, with all of the information on the back. So let's just open him. I'm sure there's like 10 million openings of this figure on YouTube already. So on the flaps on the inside here we've got the Figma logo and some information that I can't read. Anyway, I'm not too bothered about keeping the box pristine condition because I'm not, I'm not collecting for the boxes. I'm collecting for what's inside the boxes, which is uh, slightly falling out of place because it was in the post. Anyway, so this seller was nice enough to include an extra freebie, which is an effect piece for Dark Magician Girl, and it sounds like it might be broken, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look at this. Ah, okay, it's not broken. I think. Uh, so this is like a blast piece effect for Dark Magician Girl, who I don't own in Figma form, and there's these little uh, thingy things that you plug in. I'm not sure where these are meant to plug in, where each one's meant to go. Um, oh, there we go. That one goes in there, I think. Um, does this one go here? I'm, I'm not really sure if these have like set places they're meant to go in. No, is this one meant to go over here? Maybe? Uh, and then this one? I don't know where all of these pieces are meant to go. Are they all meant to go in at once? I've never owned a Dark Magician Girl Figma, uh, nor have I owned any kind of Figma, aside from a bootleg one when I was 12. Okay, um, I think I put this together completely wrong, but the, there's like a little blast for Dark Magician Girl, who I do not own, so I guess I'll have to get Dark Magician Girl now. <laughs> anyway, let's put that to the side. I guess this was a pre-order bonus or something, because it says not for sale on the bag there. I don't actually know, so um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll put that to the side there. Here is the stand. It's a little bit yellowed because it must have been displayed. Well, this figure was displayed by the previous owner, so it is a little bit yellowed in the stand. But anyway, I'm not bothered about that. I'm not collecting for the stand, I guess. So we are a little bit uh, yellowed in the stand. I'm not sure if it's really picking up on camera, but that's fine. And we have our little instruction booklet here. I do actually have a bit of a story about this figure and how I managed to get it. So this figure originally popped up on bids for £25, so that was the starting bid, and I was like, I have to bid on that. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but I was like, okay, well it's gone up to £40 by the end of the bidding, I was like, okay, I'm waiting for the Bakura and Android to release, so I don't want to spend that much money. And then I obviously didn't win because I didn't bid. But then, the winner didn't pay, so uh, he was relisted again on Buy It Now for £95, but I put an offer in for 80 and the seller accepted, and that's how I got him. Anyway, here is the little Millennium Puzzle. I think the chain's kind of stuck in the... Uh, there we go. The chain's kind of stuck in the Millennium Puzzle's little loop thing, but that's fine. Uh, let's bring it close to the camera. Nicely detailed. I like the paint job on this, it really suits the ancient Egyptian artifact kind of aesthetic. And of course the chain is a really nice quality as well. I imagine this piece is to attach his jacket to him. 
Speaking of his jacket, it actually looks quite dusty. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit dusty. Um, you, if it was me who was listing something like this for £80 on e well, 95 on eBay, I would have maybe dusted a bit more than this. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm going to have to dust that myself. But I'll do that before we take any B-roll shots. We have the jewel disc, which is wonderfully detailed. Just look at that, looks brilliant. And the jewel disc is on a separate 4 amp piece, so you will have to uh, dismantle, dismember Yugi to put this on. I don't think I'll display him with this. I might, but I might not. Here we have his smiling faceplate. And the cool thing about these Yugi figmas, which I didn't realise before a few days ago when I was contemplating buying this, <laughs> um, the cool thing about the Yugi figmas is that they come with extra eyes. Well, not extra eyes, it's more like interchangeable eyes. They're inset eyes, so you can just pull them out the back of the head, like so, and put these ones in, and that just changes the way he's looking. So it's like having multiple face plates in one. Here we have all of his hands in this little bag here. I'll look at those in a minute. And finally, the main event, Yugi himself. Let's get rid of this big... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We forgot two things. We forgot two things. Before we look at Yugi, here is the individual card. All of these things got a little bit displaced during postage. I will say that's a little bit off-center of a print, especially for an official product. I'd say that's just a little bit off-center. Uh, but anyway, it's fine. I'm not that particularly picky about it. <laughs> so here's the individual card, it's very tiny and losable, so I'll, I'll put that to one side. And there is, there it is, the fan of cards. So Yugi can hold a fan of cards as well. Alright, now we can put this to one side and have a look at Yugi. Okay, so I've done a quick once-over of Yugi here, and uh, he is quite dusty. <laughs> he is quite dusty. <laughs> but that's okay, I'm, I'm sure I can clean him. Uh, but, you know, eBay sellers, if you're going to sell something for, like, near enough £100, maybe dust it, you know? <laughs> but I will say that this was a very good price for the Yugi Figma. His aftermarket is between, like, 120 to 150 depending on where you get him from. So I did get him quite cheap. His paint job looks good so far. There is like a couple of little metal studs that are a little bit wonky, but you know, it's all right. Something I was hoping I'd be able to do would be to sit Yugi down so he could sit off the edge of my shelf, but the legs don't actually bend forwards. So that's that's as far forward as his leg will go. Um, he's not designed for sitting. But his leg does bend up quite a long way, which is nice. His feet are articulated, but there isn't much movement because his trousers are kind of in the way. But, you know, they are articulated, which is nice. I feel like it, this one's shoulder is actually rotated round in the wrong way. I might be able to force it back into place, but I don't want to break him, so we might leave that for today. Uh, can you kind of see how his shoulders are uneven? So mine's shoulder is... This one's fine, this one is in the wrong place. You can see it from the back as well. Can you see, this is the underside of it, and that's what it's meant to be like. So yes, there is uh, something up with my Yugi's shoulder, which is not brilliant, but I'm sure I'll be able to fiddle it back into place. But I'll do that off camera because it's less stressful. <laughs> I'm not sure why there's this seam line on his back. His uh, torso is articulated. But uh, that's probably from doing the joints or something. I'm not really sure why that's there. Probably because they had to assemble it inside and then stick this on, if I had to guess. All right, maybe we should change a faceplate. That might be exciting. So I imagine his uh, hair will wiggle off. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. So uh, if you've seen the Yugi Nendoroid, his hair attaches via three points that go into his main hair and there's three pegs on the little 
spiky up bits of hair. Whereas this one attaches via the main clump of the fringe and it has this little peg that comes out the back. So theoretically, if you wanted to do a customization of the Yugi Figma to make Yugi Muto rather than Yami Yugi, you could probably modify this fr fringe quite simply. Anyway, let's change his faceplate. He looks so funny when he doesn't have his fringe on. Let's put his smiling faceplate on. I think I want to do the smiling faceplate with the front facing eyes. How does this attach? There we go. Oh, I'm trying to put this I'm trying to put this hair all upside down. There we go. So here's Yugi, all happy, and uh, I really need to fix that shoulder. Let me see if I can do that now. All right, I fixed his shoulder. It was just a matter of kind of gently twisting that part back up. So now his shoulder is articulated as it should be, but I'm gonna be gentle because I think that bit's a bit fragile. Maybe it's broken out of place, I'm not sure. Not the seller's fault, it was a very small thing that people can miss. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think I fixed it now. I'm a little bit sad that he can't sit, but aside from the fact he can't sit, he is wonderful. He's so short as well, look at that. All right, I'm gonna go have a little bit of a play with him and then come back with some b-roll, especially after I have dusted this. Oh, look at that, ew. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> I wouldn't care, but you know, when you buy something for a lot of money, you you do expect it to be clean, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go have a little play around with Yugi and then come back with some b-roll and some thoughts. Post-filming Cha-chan here to say I forgot to show you his hands. So uh, here are his hands. They are attached to this little hand holder and his hands attach to the joint peg, so like the, there's a peg inside the wrist and it'll plug into the hand. The hands are wonderfully sculpted, they are nice and detailed I guess, but well, there's not much detail. But there's no horrible seam lines, they feel nice quality. Um, maybe I should change his hand, let's see if I can change his hand. Let's try. I'm a little bit scared, I don't want to break anything. Let's twist his hand off, maybe. There we go. Wasn't too hard. Oh, let's go over the hands that he has. He has a set of open palm hands. A set of holding something hands, so he could hold his Millennium Puzzle. A drawing a card from the Jewel Disc hand. And this one is to hold a fan of cards. This one is to hold an individual card between the two fingers, like that. And this one is just a pointing hand. And of course he has his fists. So let's put on an open palm hand. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. This better not spark an interest in collecting figments for me because I don't, I don't need another kind of figure to want to collect. Oh, also in the bag that the hands came in, there was this bit. Uh, I don't know what this is for. Um, maybe it's in the instructions. It was not in the instructions, I don't know what this is for. <laughs> oh look, he's waving. Hello. I am quite scared to put the jewel disc on. Now, I'm not going to have a b-roll of his coat on him, this is all you're going to get, because the coat needs to be heated up with a hairdryer to get on properly. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's on, if I, you know, didn't pose his arm so awkwardly. <laughs> Uh, so it does look really good. Uh, keep in mind it's not on properly here. I just kind of gently wedged it on for now. It is very heavy though because he will tip backwards. You will have to use the stand. Also his coat might look a little bit wet in some places because I had to run this under the tap to get the dust off. It was horrible. It was so dusty. Anyway, 
I think the coat looks really good. Uh, I'm not going to display him with it though because it does take up quite a lot of space, so let's uh, remove that. It plugs into his back with this little peg here and uh, it's just a little bit tight of a fit without having to heat it up with a hairdryer, so you know, no coat to display right now. But the coat does look really good, the paint job is nice and smooth, there's not really many details on the coat so you know, there's not much to point out, um, but there it is. I also can't get my particular Yugi into his stand without heating it up with a hairdryer, this is too stiff to go in properly, so um, no stand really <laughs> for my Yugi to use right now. I will do a hairdryer trick later, probably. Post filming Chachan here again to say I'm too scared to remove his forearm. I'm not breaking this figure just after I got him, so um, no b-roll of this attached. So I've had this figure for a full day now, I'm recording this on the next day, and I love it. It, I love it. <laughs> I'm so happy I got it. Honestly, I wasn't too sure if I wanted to get the Figma, since I don't really like how the joints are visible, but then again, I do also collect dolls, and they have visible joints, so why would I not enjoy a Figma? I don't know. Now that I have this Figma, I'm like, okay, now I kind of want more Figmas. <laughs> so yes, I'm very happy that I got it. I'm planning to take this Figma outside with me to take outdoor photos, since I've been getting really into figure photography and I'm too scared to take any of my expensive figures outside. <laughs> well, I mean, this was expensive, it was £80, it wasn't cheap. Um, but you know, I'm not going to take a big scale figure outside with me because it's not easy to transport and I'd be heartbroken if I broke one. <laughs> um, but you know, I can easily transport a small figma like this and I can do it with confidence that I'm not going to damage it, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, but yes, I am very happy that I got this Figma, and now that I have an effect piece for Dark Magician Girl, I, I guess um, I guess I have to get Dark Magician Girl too. <laughs> I'm only half joking. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I didn't ramble on too much, but anyway, Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts, it's not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one, and bye!